Okay, so 1969, Neil Armstrong stepped onto the moon. I guess there wouldn't be anybody here who doesn't know the first two uh, things that Neil Armstrong said. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. But he mumbled four other words. And I wonder if anyone knows that, but anyway, you'll know it in a minute. <laughs> and for 35 years, every time he was asked what he said and what he was meaning, he just smiled and just uh, went around and he changed the subject. He would not discuss it. Anyway, around about uh, three or four years ago, uh, he was being interviewed again, leading up to the 40 years, and uh, he said, well, I guess, I guess I can tell you the story now because the people involved are gone, have left us. So, he said, when he was a youngster, when he was at school, he and one of his mates were shooting baskets in their backyard and uh, they'd pass one another and do three-pointers and all the rest of it. Anyway, one of them, the, the ball hit the, the basket, shot across, landed on the wall, on the fence, and went over in the next door's, next door's garden. Now, the next door was a couple of the name of Korsky, Mr. and Mrs. Korsky. They, were a bit sick of Neil Armstrong, he was a bit of a character and he was always doing things that annoyed these old people. However, Neil decided he wanted his ball back so he got his nose over the fence and had a look around and he could see his ball up against the wall of the house uh, under a window. Nobody around. Over the fence he went and as he picked up to get the ball he heard a very agitated Mrs. K Mrs. Korsky say, Sex? Sex? You've got as much chance of sex as that damn kid next door's got of walking on the moon. <laughs> so, what were the words that he said? That's what he said. Good luck, Mr. Korsky. <laughs>